Hey everyone, today we're going to paint peacocks. For this project, I'm going to recommend some newspaper to cover your work surface, a paper plate to pour your acrylic paint on, a one inch flat brush, two smaller round brushes, a size one and size eight are great, a cup of water to rinse your brushes in, paper towels, Kleenex or toilet paper to help clean your brushes, 11 by 14 multimedia paper, and a variety of acrylic paint colors. Start by drawing a circle for the head and a larger oval shape for the body. And then we can connect the two. sunset colors in the background starting with yellow at the bottom then right on top of the yellow I'm gonna add some orange and while the paint is still wet I'm gonna blend the orange with the yellow I need to go back and add extra yellow on top of the orange I can do that so I'm adding some extra yellow to help blend those colors you want a really smooth transition from one color to the next. Still using my one inch flat brush, I'm gonna add some red right above the orange and then go back and blend the orange with the red while both colors are still wet. I can go back and add extra orange as needed to help blend, make it look more smooth. And then when I'm done doing that, I'm gonna add some purple across the top and then blend that in with the red. To make my background look a little extra magical, I'm gonna take some white paint and add some water into it. I want it to be a little bit watery so it drips easily. I'm gonna do some drips of white paint some blue paint to the head and body of my peacock. When I clean my brush, I call this the pinch and windshield wiper technique. I pinch the brush and then I windshield wiper it very gently. I dip it. While my blue paint is still wet, I'm going to blend in some turquoise paint right on top of it. If you don't have turquoise, green paint will also work. Now adding white highlights in while the paint is wet also looks very cool. I decided to paint my tail purple. You might want to use the wider one inch brush for this. I have two distinctly different colors of purple. I'm using the darker one to fill in solid color the first layer and then I'm going to go back with that lighter color purple and I'm going to make just some fan texture strokes for a little bit of contrast. I'm going to take the tiniest brush I have and while the paint is still wet I'm going to go back and add some white highlights over the purple. This looks super cool. I decided to go back here and make my wings stick out slightly more. I wanted them to be larger. I painted the beak black. Now 
Now I'm going to add the crown feathers to the peacock's head. I'm going to start with these blue lines and then I'm going to do upside down triangles. I'm going to use turquoise to do the eye of the peacock feather. I'm shaping these like raindrops. It's okay if the paint underneath is still wet. I'm going to have my peacock sitting on top of a branch. So I'm going to do the main branch first, and then I'm going to do a series of smaller branches stemming off of the main branch. Once I'm done with this first layer, I'm going to go back and add some darker brown. I can make this darker brown by mixing regular brown with some black paint. This adds some contrast and uh, the impression of shadow and dimension. I'm now going to add some purple in the center of the eye of the peacock feathers. And it's okay if the paint underneath is still a little wet, just use extra thick paint on top. I'm going to decorate my branch with leaves and flowers. You might find it easier to start with flowers. I chose white flower petals and I did them in a fanning circle. go back and add a red dot in the center of every flower. Now it's time to add some leaves. I'm going to just make a simple, almost rounded diamond shape for my leaves. If you want to go back and add highlights with yellow, you can do that too. For a little added contrast, I'm going back and adding a black dot in the center of the eye of the peacock feathers. Here I'm adding more white around the black outline of the peacock eyes. This makes them stand out and look more dramatic. 